Good morning, Phil Thatch here, and this morning I'm on Chilhowee Mountain in Polk County, Tennessee, and I'm at the third overlook doing another panorama. I have, uh, I'm actually standing right now in the back of my pickup truck. My vlogging camera is on the roof of my pickup truck, just trying to get a little bit more height. Uh, I've got the Z6 and the FTZ adapter and the 70 to 200 and I'm at ISO 100 F11 and 1 40th of a second. And I'm going to try to get a panoramic view here from this fantastic vista. And I'll work on that now. So once you have your tripod level and your focus set and your white balance set, you can make your overlapping exposures for your panorama. On this one, I think I made 21 exposures of this amazing vista with Parksville Lake and mountains. I mean, just so beautiful right here. A little bit hazy though today, so I'm not sure how good the pano is gonna be, but I still enjoyed being here. Usually I will crop a panorama 17 by six, but on this one, I really wanted to have the whole thing. And if this was printed out, it would be nine and a quarter feet by one and a half feet tall. So you really can't view it on a monitor like this. So I thought I would give you the scrolling left to right version for a better view of this panoramic vista. Hey, it's Future Phil here and I am coming at you from the future. Next up in the video, I'm gonna document just a little bit of the hike, a very little bit of the hike from this trailhead that I'm at right now to Benton Falls. And so I made some stops along the way, but when I came back, uh, just now, I started, uh, I looked to see what time it was when I was at the very bottom stair by the falls and I timed my hike. I didn't stop at all, even though it was an uphill hike, probably at least 80% of the way. I didn't stop any. Uh, and, um, you know, I, I, I walk fairly fast. I'm pretty tall and have long legs, but it took me 36 minutes of nonstop walking to get from the base of the falls to the trailhead. So, That'll give you an idea of how long it takes you to get to Benton Falls. This is the trail to Benton Falls that I'm on. It's relatively long, not, not too bad. I can't remember if it's three miles round trip or three miles out or exactly what it is, but anyway, I'm on it. So let's keep hiking. The signs along the trail that takes you to Benton Falls are not very reassuring because they don't mention Benton Falls, or at least quite a few of them don't. I'm about three quarters of the way there now, and finally a sign that says, oh, by the way, you are on the correct trail. When you get really close, you can hear way down there, you can hear the stream or river or creek or whatever it is, and the path becomes lined with rhododendron instead of the rest of the foliage that was lining the path before. The top of the falls is over here. Okay, so I'm at the very top of the falls now. Got this little stream that I'm on. And way down there is the bottom of the falls. It's really pretty right here. From the top of the falls, you follow this staircase, this rocky staircase that has a nice wooden handrail down closer to the falls. And it's a it's a pretty decent climb from the top of the bottom of this thing. I don't know how many feet it is, but it's, it's a good ways. Then the staircase comes to here and kind of gets steeper and cuts back towards the base of the falls. I remember having to figure out how to go around this tree with a backpack on full of gear last time, and I'll have to do that again. After the down tree, the path continues on. Still moving closer to the falls now, as well as down. Now you actually go up a little bit as the falls first comes into view. Kind of disorganized right here but at the very end 
there's a nice rock staircase. All right, well, I'm set up here on the side of the other side from the stairs of the canyon, pretty good bit above the creek because from here I can get kind of the whole falls in a vertical shot that'll kind of start at the top right and flow down to the bottom left of a vertical shot. I have the, uh, have the 24 to 70, the FTZ and the Z6, and I'm shooting at about 35 millimeters, F11, one half of a second. I've got the full, the lowest ISO I can do, the extended, the ISO 50. And the tripod, there's kind of a, there's kind of a flat spot here. I'm actually leaning against a tree to keep me from falling off. There's kind of a flat spot, nearly flat. Uh, well, that leg's extended that far and the rest of them are all the way to put my gear. But uh, the rest of my gear is kind of precarious. Look, I've got my, my vlogging camera bag is, is tied around a rhododendron. My drone and the rest of my bag is, is being supported by the same rhododendron on the side of this extremely steep hill. Five second timer on the half second exposure. And there you have it. So this is still not full flow on this falls. With full flow, it's all the way across the bottom. But I like this composition because the blank area on the bottom is filled in by some fall color. So I'm kind of thinking this may be the best composition of the day. I thought I'd climb down to the bottom to let you see where the camera was for that shot. I don't know if you can even see it, but there it is. And there's that tree that I was leaning against to keep from falling off. I got way better flow this time than the last time I was here. I'll put a link uh, somewhere to the video I made last time I was here. But still, this bottom section of the falls keeps calling my name. I've got some waterproof boots now, so I can stand right in the middle of this creek. Uh, and though my feet are a little cold, they are completely dry. So I'm gonna make some shots um, right here at the bottom of the falls. I've got uh, the polarizer on to make it all about the falls and less about the rocks. Let's get it in focus. Perfectly level, half a second, F11, ISO 50. Five second timer. I think it actually looks better here further back than uh, last time I was right up there at the very front. I think this is maybe a better shot. I actually didn't document the making of this photo. The video just prior to this and just after this is about the next photo, but the two photos are very similar, so I thought I would just kind of combine them together. So here is a close up look at the falls. Well, I think I may be overexposed. Yeah, I'm a little overexposed, so I'm gonna bump that up to F16 and do it again. You know, a half second's kind of perfect for a waterfall. Uh, unless it's super really rushing, then you might need a little more or less. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. I might, uh, might square crop that or four by five that probably. Very similar composition to the previous photo. This one's just a little bit closer up view of the falls, a little bit of the foreground is cut off that's not in the last photo. I, I like both of them, but I think I may like the previous shot just a little bit better. All right, I'm gonna try a vertical shot from this same spot. I know I need an L bracket. I can get pretty much the whole falls from right here. There's some bright sky at the top that is probably gonna ruin this shot. Of course, you turn the camera, you gotta turn the polarizer. Half a second, F16 ISO 50. 
Well, the sky at the top is a little overexposed, but the falls is perfect. That's kind of neat. That's kind of neat. I actually ended up liking this a lot better than I thought I would. The bright area right above the falls isn't so bad, and I darkened it as much as I possibly could without it looking completely unnatural. And this one has the same uh, top right to bottom left composition as the first photo. It's really nice having these boots. I can go wherever I want. That's my latest piece of camera gear, rubber boots. How weird is that? So this is a quick uh, detail shot of an area at the very bottom of the falls. This area is in quite a few of the photographs and I thought I'd get a up close shot of it. I just made the goofiest selfie of myself doing a hero pose standing at the very base of the falls just to kind of give perspective of, of how uh, large it is to show scale. Uh, and if you see that shot, remember I'm six foot three. I intentionally cut the very top and the very bottom of the falls off in this shot to kind of make it look like maybe I was standing on a cliff face on a waterfall that goes on and on and on. I'm not sure if that's the way it comes across in the picture, but that's kind of what I intended. But uh, still, I like the way this little selfie came out, hero pose. Well, I have thoroughly enjoyed this hike to Benton Falls. I hope the photography turns out good. And even if it doesn't, it was still a great day here in Polk County, Tennessee, on the top of Chilhowee Mountain. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Thank you.